to the Made for Business show where Catholic moms come to learn how to make a business that is simple, holy, and profitable. I'm your host, Sterling Jakewith, and today we're talking about leveraging testimonials. You have got to do this, and you will not feel like doing it. And then you're going to come talk to me, and I'm going to say, are you leveraging your testimonials? And you'll say no. And I really struggle with this, and I want to tell you why. I want to tell you why human brains don't want to get and leverage testimonials. So first, it is extremely risky and vulnerable to say, what do you think about me? Right? That's just incredibly difficult to go to someone who has paid you with their time or their money, right? Clients are people who have paid us with time or money. And asking them straight up, did you like it? Did you like the thing I gave you? Did you like the thing you bought? Did you like what I taught you, the time we spent together? So I just want you to know that, of course, your brain would be like, no, I don't want to ask that. Let's literally do anything else. It might be like, I think you should get a pedicure because we haven't done that in a while. Just watch. As soon as you tell your brain, I'm going to go ask my clients for testimonials or your email list or on Instagram, it will freak out. Okay. Because human brains kind of misinterpret getting negative feedback as possible death. Right? Because all of the people who came before you, right? I forgot the number. It's, it's several thousand people came before you to create you today in your lineage, okay? And all of those people, for most of time, if they spoke out against something, took the risk of dying. Because if you lived in a tribe or a community and you stood up and you said, hey, I don't really love the way that we treat women versus men, they might just kill you. So your brain has had however many hundreds, thousands of years of programming that says, hey, don't stick out. Don't ask for what you want. Don't be vulnerable. And then just for a short period of time, your business coach is saying, hey, go ask everyone what they think about you. That sounds like a great idea. And then your brain is freezing up and then you just feel terrible about not getting it done like you're just a procrastinator. Okay, just makes a ton of sense. You just have a human brain. But one of the fastest ways to grow your business is to leverage testimonials. And when I meet someone who's at zero, they've made no sales, and whether they're in a products business or a service business, I say, great, just go find your first couple customers, give it to them for free or extremely discounted in exchange for a testimonial. As fast as you can, you want to get testimonials. They're paying you in testimonials, and I promise you, testimonials are worth more than cash. And so it helps you in two ways. One, it helps you to get more clients, because as soon as someone reads, Sterling is great. I loved working with her. It creates social proof. And the other humans really like social proof. So your brain has had many, many decades of training saying, don't stick out and ask people what they think about you. But their brains have had the same amount of time saying, hey, if, if a lot of people like something, it's probably safe. So I'll like it too. Okay. That's why leveraging testimonials is so powerful. And then the second thing you get out of it is you actually get to read the testimonial to find out what thing your client likes, what aspect of your product, what aspect of your service. And then like a bonus third thing is it will probably increase your confidence. So I did this recently after my brain for a very long time didn't want me to do it. I had no problem asking for testimonials on the podcast or in masters because I just felt so confident in that. But I really held out for a long time asking for business coaching testimonials. And partly it was just because I had no idea what they were going to say. I was pretty sure I knew what people would say about the podcast and about our master's program, but I really just had no idea what they were going to say. I don't know that I was worried 
that they would say bad things. I'm not sure that's what my brain was worried about. It was just so unknown and it felt so scary. And so I had wanted to record this podcast before, but I hadn't sent out and asked for my own testimonials. And I was like, Sterling, okay, you cannot tell them <laughs> that they have to do this if you haven't done it. So I did that, I think two months ago now, maybe a little longer than that. And I used videoass.com and it's really simple. You record a quick video of you saying, Hey, can you share the impact of our work together or the thing that you bought for me? And then you send it to all of your clients and then they can record a quick video. You can also set it up so they can choose to do a video or a, a typed testimonial. I just chose to give them the video option. And so many of my clients took me up on that and I just cried. Like watching them, I also felt really scared watching them. I left them in my inbox for a while. I was so nervous to watch them. So I'm just sharing this with you so you just understand that we all have human brains and they just do what human brains do. But then I listened to them and they were so moving and they were so incredible. And, you know, they said about me exactly what I would want people to say about me. All of them said I lead them to the Lord. They didn't talk about marketing. They didn't talk about sales. They didn't talk about my five business steps. They all said she taught me how to trust in the Lord, how to lean on my prayer life. It was incredible. And so I want to encourage you to ask your clients for testimonies. And again, even people who have not paid you money are still your client if they're paying you in time. So if they've signed up for a free workshop, if they were, you know, a tester for a product, if you did coaching or consulting for them for free, they're still your client and you can still ask them for a testimonial. And you just tell your brain when it freaks out, it's going to freak out because it's not going to want to ask them. It's going to freak out because it's not going to want to watch them or read them. And then it's going to freak out again when you need to post them. Because then you'll feel like people are thinking that I'm bragging about myself and that I think too highly of myself. And that's, again, your brain perceives that as being dangerous. And I think we get an extra layer on top of that being Catholic that we believe that it's the opposite of humility. And so we don't want to do it. But the truth is, if you're here and you're listening to this, God has put a mission-based business on your heart. He has a work for you to do in the world and he wants you to grow it. He wants your impact to be greater. And we know that testimonials, particularly video testimonials, are an excellent way to increase the impact that you can have. So I just, your brain's going to freak out and you're just going to tell it, hey brain, I know you're scared. The pitchfork people aren't coming after me. They don't do that anymore. It's going to feel uncomfortable to ask. It's going to feel uncomfortable to read them going to feel uncomfortable to share them. But if we want to grow this business, we're going to have to get really good at doing uncomfortable things. And remember, God asked us to buckle up, right? So you just got to talk your brain off the ledge to get you to do the thing. But if you can do this, your business will grow so much faster than the women who just put their head in the sand and don't choose to do this. And you can still grow your business without leveraging testimonials. But this is like pouring gasoline on the fire. So if you want to get it faster, get testimonials as quickly as you can. And then I want you to leverage them everywhere that you can and many times. So you're not just going to post it on your Instagram account once. You could post it once every month. You could post it, you know, in many different places. So for me, I could talk about them on a podcast. I could put them on my website sales page. And then my TikTok account, which goes to Instagram, which goes to Facebook. Probably if you have a LinkedIn account, you could do that too. I haven't really leveraged that yet. And so just do it. Now you know it feels terrible for everyone. No one wants to do it. It makes us all feel like we're going to throw up. But you are a soldier in God's army. And there is a spiritual battle going on for everyone's souls, including yours, and we need to get really good at discerning what God is calling us to do and then step up and do it. Your job is to manage your brain 
so you can carry out your holy marching orders that he gave you. I love you. Get to work and have a blessed day.